Hey, what's up guys, Chris Kong here and welcome to another Critics Visual semi-tutorial. Um, today, I just want to take a quick look and give you guys a bit of info in regards to changing your aspect ratio of your videos. Um, basically, there are, are two ways and depending on what you want, you might choose one or the other. So, let me explain. I'm gonna open my After Effects file here and it's just a project uh, that I'm working on now and as you can see it's classified so unfortunately we cannot take a peek behind the composition but anyway so I'm gonna use this to illustrate what I want you guys to know so if I want to change the aspect ratio of my composition which basically now is the classic 16 by 9 and make it let's say the cinematic one um, when it comes to, you know, technically having the black bars, as many people call it, I would go to composition, composition settings, and this is the same for any um, editor that you're using, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, etc. And I would unclick the log aspect ratio, and I would change the height, basically. So let's say I want the super um, anamorphic type of aspect ratio, I would do this and now the actual project and the actual composition when rendered will be a different aspect ratio and usually you would do this because you know you want to publish completely in a specific ratio like this one and you don't care about having excess you know because technically when you put the black bars after effects or any editor still has to calculate what what's happening behind what's in front etc and you still render in a bigger composition technically because it has more pixels um, and so that has its ups and downs so what I would do now I would select my file basically or layer in this case and I will just reposition it, it and try to find out you know in the new aspect ratio where it's the best composition so I would say there looks pretty cool and it would be that I would put it on my render queue and I would just render it out and when I play back the file it will be on that cinematic aspect ratio. But there is a problem. Depending on where you're publishing, let's say you're publishing on YouTube or you're just writing in Blu-ray, like who cares, online web series and you want for example the logos at the beginning to be at 16 by 9 and the clip itself, the film, the TV show, whatever, to be on a different aspect ratio, then unfortunately you have to render the whole thing in 16 by 9 and then have the, the film itself be on a different ratio. So in this case, what you will do is basically you would put the black bars, like people call it. But the problem is, there are three main types of black bars and if you have to do the same thing again and again like you know create a new layer that is black then try to you know measure across to make the black bars it's kind of tedious honestly and there is an easier way so i created a free pack available on the critics web website under the free assets page and what this pack has is i basically took all the mainstream let's call 8k mainstream now um, I took all the mainstream um, resolutions and I pre-rendered the black bars this, which changed essentially the aspect ratio of your image because they put that black overlay and if you we click for example 4k it has all the three major ones which is theatrical you can see they're very slight change anamorphic and ultra which is basically like ultra wide and you have the same for 8k 720p which I kind of was like should I put this in and then I was like yeah why not and then the classic 1080 so 1080 so I'm gonna select the 1080p because my composition is 1080 and I'm gonna drop them in into After Effects and I'm just gonna take a quick look and show you and actually I'm gonna change the composition settings back to 1080 1080 cool and I'm just gonna show you how it's this. So I'm gonna select the anamorphic one and I'm just gonna drop it in and boom. Very easy, I have the anamorphic look and then I can have my logos or my end titles be in the 16 by nine ratio, but the film itself in a different aspect ratio. And very quickly, two clicks and I'm done. And then again, as I did in the beginning, I will select my layer, my file, the basically the render 
project composition and I'll just reposition it to see where it fits the best and then it's done hit render and you're done so like I said you have the anamorphic you have the theatrical if we drop this in which is a very slight change and by the way I just have the original file behind it just to show you the cool VFX that's coming up because I know you guys get excited about those and then we have the ultra which is not the most user friendly because as, as you can see it changes the ratio dramatically and you really need to know this before you shoot anything so when you're shooting you know that you're gonna crop the aspect ratio so you know you don't end up with losing a lot of things that you wanted initially to have on in the shop so this is pretty much it guys like I said I have the this free pack with all the different ratios the three major ones in the creative space under free assets which you should simply join and you have many um, projects for free and also do check out the other products so that you might be interesting from the side and before we completely um, tune off I just want to show you guys for example there is a new release that's being highly highly requested and it's my signature LUTs presets and basically let me go hold points let's browse it's an awesome collection of 10 epic cinematic LUTs which are I mean they're they're really good they're professionally made you know they're because many LUTs out there will just you will drop it in in your original clip and it will just ruin everything so these are very well made and they will actually um, change the color of your image into cinematic one so for example here I have the let's see which one I had the Hollywood punch and you can see the before and after there's not like an insane change and that's what a lot should do in order to work across all um, whatever you throw at it basically if I shoot something I can use my lats if you shoot something you should be able to use my lats too so as you can see it literally changes the color and plays with a lot of values that take a long time to process if you do it by hand if you can say that basically if I wanted if I wanted to get the same exact look and I had to do it all step by step it would take me about half an hour so with this one, with the pack that I created, I have all my signature um, color grading styles that you guys have seen through the years and now there are, um, you can have the same things and basically I have like 10 of them which is a tiny bit excessive but when you, you check the color palette of the LUTs on the side you will see how important each one of those is and how uh, it each one basically is very diverse in terms of how it changes the colors of the image so with that said guys thank you for watching I hope you guys found this helpful it was a very simple insight into um, aspect ratios and when you should use black bars or just change the composition settings and of course the free pack that you can just drag and drop whatever your resolution is um, which is available on the creative store for free okay guys so that's a wrap thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next one until then stay awesome